Ed here, Metro Line of Martial Arts. He didn't tell me what we're doing. I didn't tell you what we're doing. <laughs> what so, are doing? so, what we're doing. I have cigars on. What do I need? Oh, man, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it's um, revenge. No. Um, you are on Martial Arts Journey. With the Rokas. Yes. Alright. Well, there we go. So Jeet Kune Do, I saw you did some cool videos recently with Jeet Kune Do. Listen, when you talk for two hours, you're bound to just say some things. Say some, so, I actually don't really disagree with most of what you said. Which is pretty cool, because you say a lot. I say a lot of things. Yeah. That might be but something wrong with you then. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? You said that Jeet Kune Do, Jeet Kune Do, mm -hmm. is a C minus. I'd say Jeet Kune Do, I don't know, maybe maybe also in that C minus category, C, C minus. Yeah, I was, I was also thinking because it would feel unjust for me to put it next to boxing because boxing is very good at that yeah. one thing as you made that yeah. great point. <laughs> Oh, I don't know though, Rokos. I have several questions. Okay. Because at the end, I don't want to spoil what you said at the end, because what you said at the end is 100% accurate. Okay. All right, cool. So, I know, I know, I know. I'm <laughs> setting you up here. Are you going to tell us at the end of this video what I said at the end of yes. that video? Okay, yes, great. yes, yes, okay, yes. Because yes. I don't know what I said. Yeah, you said, so, okay. This was basically taking self-defense, or all martial arts, I guess, mm -hmm. and then gauging them on self-defense. Right. Okay. So, I want to know, what is your criteria for a self-defense art? How is it, what makes one art better than another art? And okay. then I'm going to pigeonhole everything and put Jeet Kune Do in all those things. Okay, great. <laughs> um, so, one, one important point of that, that I don't know how well I explained it, we were generally talking about a guy who's only had a limited amount of training. Right. I think a dude that's been doing Jeet Kune Do for 10 years and has been sparring, probably would be alright. Yeah, sure. Right? But if you took a guy who's done Jeet Kune Do for six months, he's going to be in trouble. Uh -huh. As anyone that does anything for six months. Yes. But part of my criteria was like, if you wrestled for six months or did BJJ for six months, you're in a lot, you're way further ahead than a guy who did just point kickboxing or yes. just, you know, point karate or Taekwondo for six months. I agree. Say, right. People can disagree and be like, no, I can totally psh, knock it out. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the wrestler has been wrestling his ass off for Everything but maybe the first night he was there. Correct. Yeah. And maybe even on the first night he was there. Right, yeah. So I just think it sharpens you a lot quicker, those arts that I ranked higher. I think that with that in mind, what beyond the six months, what makes a good self-defense art for just in general? Uh, so it has to address the most common attacks. Okay. That's a, another thing, like, like BJJ Beyond Blue Belt is largely unnecessary yes. because the things you're learning to fight against or not things that happen in the wild. Yeah. So I think it needs to give you some form of maintaining your reactionary gap through some form of footwork. Okay. So you need to at least understand like how to move right. your feet, which almost every striking art and even some grappling arts incorporate some method of footwork. Sure. I think it has to address a large overhand right. I think it's one of the first things I should I think you should learn how to address. I think it has to address when someone reaches for an upper body style of clinch, like pulling your head down. Mm -hmm. And I think it has to address when someone tries to tackle you. Got it doesn't it. have to be a beautiful double leg like I just did. That was pretty good actually. <laughs> so perfect. It's about, to, it's about to fall. And you have to at least be able to defend against this. this. Got it. Right? Okay. I think, and then lastly, I think you have to be able to isolate a weapon hand of mine. Okay. And also, if you choose to use a weapon, that martial art should help you free that weapon hand. Mm, okay. And I think that, I think that's six things. Six criteria, yeah. Yeah, and I think that that sort of is self-defense. Okay. I, I, because honestly, I'm going to be, I'm going to be frank, but even though I'm Ed. I also thought you were Ed. Yeah. 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 Um, I haven't been in a street fight. I normally avoid such places. Mm -hmm. um, I punched a kid in, in daycare once in the eye. Uh, and then, of course, I've been in. You were also a kid, though, right? I was also a kid. Okay, yes, cool. yeah, that makes yeah. sense. You should um, start the story. Oh, with that. I should start. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, you know, I've been in like competition matches and, and full yeah, contact yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. That, that that's different. So uh, you know, and I've taken martial arts that have taught self defense as you know, this is self defense. But then I see it, and I'm always just like, like, what am I defending against? Yeah. So I like the six criteria. Yeah. Because it 
sets up all the things that you would most yeah, like. Yeah, you need. have to know how to deal with those things. So yeah. you will have to know how to clear ties. Yes. Right? Yeah. You have to know how to block. You have yeah. to know how to move your feet. You have yeah. to know how to sprawl and frame. So here's a disclaimer. Jeet Kune Do only has like half of that. Yikes. Yes. So, so this, somewhere in the middle? Somewhere in the middle. Where? Kind of like around that C, C minus. Yes, yes. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Footwork, it has. It has all, yeah. the, all the footwork. You yeah. know, we, we, we just talked in, um, uh, the martial arts unlimited about the pendulum it has a lot of the yeah, pendulum. and that's a great. I think that's a great way to mm. to just to deal with somebody, especially yeah. if you're, especially if you had some sort of weapon. Yeah, exactly. I need to, yeah. I need to, you know what I mean? Yes. And, and I didn't need to set it up like yeah. so. One of the criticisms of the pendulum step is there's a bit of a telegraph in it. Right. Remember we're talking about self defense. Yeah. It's against a maniac. Yes. Not a guy who's who's yeah. who's uh, yeah. Israel Adesanya. You know, you're yes. not trying to land a kick on Israel Adesanya. Right. You're trying to land a kick on a maniac yeah. who has a a weapon like that. Yeah. So it's not the, the context matters. Yes, and, and that's one thing I liked to, uh, or I wanted to talk to you about specifically is because you know the right hand Jeet Kune Do has things to deal with that. I don't yep. know if I agree with extending away from your face, but it also has tight covers. Yeah, and it has the interception, hence the name of the art. Um, it, it footwork. The other one was. Um, it deals with the trapping range, which right. doesn't the exist. Upper, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Grab yes. your upper body. Yes, and it deals controlling with controlling the controlling the arms or head of yes. your opponent. Yeah, um, it deals nothing well with the sprawl. Yeah, uh, especially from you know, let's say a kid wrestled for like three years. Yeah, that sprawl is still going to be way better than most things. Yeah, he's good, especially because the amount of reps that he's yeah devoted to doing it. Exactly. So like yeah. JKD does have sprawl answers that uh, that. Depending on the person, like if they're really good, yeah, you're gonna get taken down. But if he does a sprawl, there's a lot of it with. Go ahead, if you, or, excuse me, got shot, shot. They have a lot of the framing, the framing. If you're early, and, yeah. If you're early, if you're early, it doesn't have a whole lot of late. Like yeah. so, if you're underneath my here, you're you're gonna get it. It's yeah. As far as like a yeah, a what generic what generic. you would do next that only comes from Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. No, right. Yeah. Like the, I would pull guard, which isn't that. It's, yeah. <laughs> And I wouldn't pull just guard pull on guard, the street. Bro. Yeah, just pull guard on the street. Yeah. Um, so that's why I thought it was really interesting. What you said at the end of the video was everyone in the C minus is going to be really upset because they're going to think their art is an S and every other art there is an F. Yeah. How how much stuff ended up in that in that C minus category? The the reoccurring theme where if you ask any of the guys that do that stuff, they'll tell you it's A. Or even S, some of them. Right. Right. Yeah. And if you ask anybody that doesn't do that stuff and hasn't thought critically about this stuff, they'll tell you it's all bullshit and it's F. Yeah. And did I say that? You did. It sounds very wise. It's very wise because <laughs> I immediately was offended because it's just a C minus, and then I thought about it. Yeah. And I wanted. Well, what was the company you were in though? You were around karate, and you were around. I think you even had ninjutsu up there. No, I did not. I definitely put ninjutsu down. No, I, know did. I know you did. I even had boxing, which is kind of one of my yeah, that's primary weird. disciplines. I think I had that ranked in the middle too. Yeah, and, and one thing I, I, I like about the discussion of it is because I don't advertise Jeet Kune Do as a self-defense thing. Yeah. I advertise Jeet Kune Do as something fun. As like, do you want to preserve Bruce Lee's art? Do you want to train yeah. like martial Bruce arts? Lee? It's yeah. martial arts. Yeah. And that's okay, by the way. Yeah. Hey, that's okay. You know you can just train shit because you just like it. You know that that's all right. Yeah. You don't have to be a living weapon, or or I could totally be a UFC champion, but I just I don't I don't believe in being famous and rich. Yeah. Or yeah. you know, <laughs> sport. It's just yeah. work in the streets. Yeah. And and I I I feel not good <laughs> when people on the Facebooks are talking like you know oh this wouldn't work. I would just. I jab and dick kick you, and because that's part of JKD. That's yeah. One of the entries yeah. is you know going here. Like yeah, that's that. that's good. Yeah, no, it's solid. But like, what if it didn't work? Right? Well, and it's like here's the problem. So you I jab and dick kick, yeah. which is a solid combo. Yeah, no, you just listen, spam it. That's that's the problem. <laughs> that sometimes the reality based self defense crew that is like, well, it's, it's all the good techniques are banned from sport. Yes. Here's what would happen if, if a, a kid who wrestled in high school, and I was gonna say an MMA fighter, yeah. but a kid who wrestled in high school for a year. Yeah. Here's what would likely happen if he was deciding to murder you with his body and or a weapon. Yeah. You would eye jab. He'd say, ah, my eye. You would dick kick. He'd say, ah, my dick. And then you would go like this, right? 
And then he would have his eyes scrunched shut, his dick kicked in, but you would be underneath the guy who knows the fuck how to wrestle. Yes. You know? <laughs> exactly. And that's what I like. That, like, it really got me thinking, because, like, I try not to just immediately react emotionally to stuff. Yeah. And comment and. Well, uh, then you shouldn't be on the internet. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I want to think rationally. Yeah. Um, so the idea with it is, right, is like, I was like, okay, what, what, what do you think is self defense? Yeah. And then what do I think, like, what do I think self defense is, considering I've never. Never self defense? Yeah, whereas you know. Well, here's the thing is, none, notice I never picked an S tier. Because none of it really is self defense. Because all of it's missing something. Yes. So I would say, at your school, you guys are. You got good fast boom, the Jeet Kune Do stuff. Yeah. You have some good self defense striking. Mm -hmm. You uh, fight with weapons. Yeah. You guys do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes. Here's all you gotta do. Add the fucking sprawl in there. You know yeah. what I mean? And you've got a pretty robust self defense answer. Yes. None of those things have everything. That's why I had to rank boxing so low. Yeah. Because dude, a boxer will light you up on the feet. Yeah. But the second his legs get like this, yeah. he's going down. Yes. None of them are good. Yeah. And the, the problem is, mm -hmm. the schools that do sell self-defense, Yes. don't get me wrong, me and many of my peers that I respect a lot, we put that word on the building. Yep. It's yeah. on my building, too. Yeah. You have to so people know what the hell they're coming in for they yes. don't know anything. Yeah. None of it is self-defense. Self-defense is a legal standard. It's not a martial art. Yes. The people that really say, my, my, we're not teaching Muay Thai, we're not teaching MMA, we're not teaching Jeet Kune Do, we just teach self-defense, them motherfuckers can't fight. Yes. yes. Right? Like, at all. Yes. You learn martial arts, and you cobble them together into your self-defense thing. So all you, all you need to add to Jeet Kune Do is, is a good sprawl. A good sprawl. Yeah. And then it's pretty good for self-defense. You mm -hmm. won't be an MMA champion, no. but you could stop a guy from trying to yeah. beat you up and... Take um, your Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings is yeah. where it always happens. It always happens there. Yeah. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Uh, yeah. Or click dislike. Or dislike. That's, Remember, they can click dislike. You, absolutely. If you want to, click dislike. I can see them. You yeah. can. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I get to look at all, like, eight of you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're all there. Uh, comment if you want more stuff like this, but I know you do. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. The bell notification if you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Party on.